Hello and welcome to your week commencing the 4th of January horoscope forecast for the sun or the ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please also check out your year 2021 personal horoscope forecast and character analysis combination based on your time, date and place of birth, totally unique to you. This will give you searing insights as to what the next 12 months holds for you. From the time of order, you'll get full 12 months. So please don't think you're going to miss out on anything. Please see the link beneath this video for more information. Hello, Leo, and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 4th of January. The big news story this week has got to be about Mars ending that long shadow period, which has come obviously before and then after the retrograde. And of course, Mars has been in an agitated right angle with Pluto. And that's really been quite a serious uh, thing from the 12th of December till now. So Mars coming out of shadow on Tuesday is something for us all to jointly celebrate. But on Wednesday, Mars moves into the part of your horoscope that's to do with success. And Mars is going to be there for the next six weeks. I want you to set your intentions in terms of what you want to achieve in the wider world. Now, we all know the wider world is more complex than it's ever been at the moment, particularly in terms of employment. And already, since five months in 2018, and from March the 7th, 19, you have been feeling very restless around your work or role in life. Now, once Mars catches up with Uranus on the 18th and 19th of January, and then the last 10 days of the month is in conflict with Jupiter and Saturn in a very serious way, it's possible that your hopes to manifest some goals and ambitions may be dependent on your interactions with others because someone close to you may not like if you have a new uh, idea, a new vision of how you'd like to go forward. They may prefer to keep the status quo. So relationships in general are obviously coming under the astral spotlight for you because of Jupiter and Saturn being in your seventh solar house, as they have been absolutely together from the 21st of December. Now, this week, Mercury, the planet of communication, dances beautifully with Venus, and you could find yourself having some delightful conversations, actually. Uh, but then, as the week draws to a close, Mercury catches up with Saturn and Jupiter in the sign of Aquarius. And if there has been some tensions, perhaps around nitty-gritty issues, you know, it could be um, that if you're in a partnership where the, your other half is not very focused on housework or making their contribution, or not very good at acknowledging what you do and very good at analyzing what they don't like. So that kind of brittle energy can reach a peak as Mercury goes alongside Pluto, but it also can give you the investigative abilities to delve beneath an issue and really get very well informed particularly if you're researching anything online, you can have a penetrating awareness across those days. But then as Mars moves into the sign of Taurus, it does clash with Saturn and then immediately with Jupiter. Mars square in Jupiter is one of those kind of less damaging squares in the sense that it can make us believe that nothing is impossible and give us a lot of get go. But uh, Mars and Saturn in a square is much more complex because if you think about it, Mars is about energy flowing through our, our needs as an individual. So it's a bit different from the sun, which is very much to do with our sun, uh, with to do with our soul. Mars is much more to do with our desire for recognition. So uh, Mars moving into that position is going to make you want to receive a claim. And that's good. That can be a very good thing for you. But it seems for you to make your progress to the summit of that success, somehow or another, you need the cooperation of others and it may be uh, lacking. You may uh, receive resistance to your ideas, which could be profoundly frustrating. But keep going, because Venus is actually going to be moving on Friday, along with Mercury, but Venus moves into the sign of uh, Capricorn, but it forges a beautiful angle to Mars. So if there's some kind of compromise or accord 
or agreement that can be found, the end of this coming week is likely to be a good time to go for it. But everyone's going to have to just sort of like let go a little bit. I don't think everyone can stay absolutely rigid in order for this to move forwards. So flexibility, particularly with Mars moving into a fixed sign and Mercury, Jupiter and Saturn also in a fixed sign and you, your sun being a fixed sign, it's very important that you don't say, look, I'm not doing that. That's the end of it. It's my way or no way. That is going to cause some problems. So some compromises, uh, a lot of listening carefully to one another is going to be important. But your listening skills can definitely improve with Mercury moving into Aquarius. And you might start to see the other person's viewpoint much more than you've been able to more recently. So on the whole, it's an incredible week. So much change. But it's pushing us all to be much more conscious of the Earth's resources. With Mars moving into Taurus, which is an Earth sign, very much to do with foundations. But people, mankind, person kind, humanity is governed very much by Aquarius. So it's what we're up to and the impact it has on the planet is also going to come sharply into focus at this time.